Hello guys, I'm Nick. I hope everyone is doing well and uh, I have to say it's been quite a while since my last video. I'd like first of all to thank all of you people for sticking around. The channel has been growing ever since I'm gone. Uh, mainly thanks to you people. Loads of you left positive comments on my latest videos uh, and a lot of you are asking yourselves how do I have such little subscribers? Well, if you want to see more content, uh, I suggest you subscribe and stay tuned. I have uh, some sticker combos coming and I also have my personal inventory showcase. With that out of the way, I'd like to get into today's video topic, which is the Dreams and Nightmare case. And as you probably know, Valve, uh, last year actually, they made a contest for this case, uh, where each creator could get up to 100k, they've selected I think 17 skins, uh, and uh, they've published them. And this is pretty much what this video is about. Today we will be taking a look at the skins that are actually in the case, we will be taking a look at the various prices of the skins, and also at the price trend of the case, uh, to see if it's a worthwhile investment. Starting off with the blues, we have the P2000 lifted spirits it's quite a simple skin i really like it uh, the creator actually posted how they made it on their twitter the artwork itself is really really good i like how it looks like i love how it um, has these trees and the spirits shooting up from the trees i really appreciate the creator of the skin and i really appreciate the skin and the overall look on the p2000 i think it's really cool i really like it and it's a must pick up it's a really nice blue and it's starting off really well for this case the next skin is the mag 7 foresight and i have to say this is on the running for being one of my favorite mag 7 skins overall and i personally feel like it's a must pick up if you have a darkish themed inventory and you want to have a splash of color in it i personally like a lot the overall style of the skin itself. Uh, the touches of orange and yellow are really complementary. I like the writings on it. Next up we have this Car20 Poltergeist and uh, I really have no clue what's going on with this skin and I think it's actually a good thing because it seems to me that the artists are trying to capture how a dream or a nightmare feels like where there are things but you cannot quite distinguish them. I feel like this is really interesting skin. I really like the blue or purplish that they used for the background and uh, honestly I could recommend it if you're looking for a colorful Scar 20. Continuing with our themes for chaotic skins, uh, I think the 5.7 scroll picks up again the vibe of a nightmare because you can't really make up what is going on in the skin itself but it's uh, it's a nice skin i like the colors of it and i think it could go well if you have a raiders type inventory which i want to do a showcase for it actually in the future and uh, i think it's going to be a quite popular 5-7 due to the writings and the style of it Next up on the list, we have the Sod of Spirit Board, and I have to say, this is an absolute nuts idea. An amazing and very well executed skin, and I think this is one of the skins that captures the best the theme of this case, Nightmare and Dreams. The Sod of Wood has been like discolored and now it's uh, engraved with this uh, normal mapping effect of a Ouija board, and I absolutely love how this skin looks, I love the details that have been put into this skin, and I've also found out that the worse the skin gets, some engravings actually come up. So on your screen right now, you're seeing me rotate the sort of spirit board in factory new condition. You can see that it looks quite gritty and quite ruined. And now on your screens, you can see the same sort of, but in battle scarred quality. And as you can notice from the screen, a lot of the engravings that were barely visible before are coming up. Then there's what is the worst skin in this case, in my personal opinion, because I really have no clue what is actually going on here. And it is the MP5 Necro Jr. I really have no clue what's going on with the skin and I really struggle to understand what the theme is. Again, it could be that it's like a nightmare and unfortunately the colors don't mix really well and the gun does not give you a vibe that it's from a nightmare. I can understand where the artist tried to do with it but I unfortunately cannot get behind the idea that this skin has been picked over some of the other entries 
that were put in uh, for this case. Now going from this skin, uh, from an absolute banger in my opinion, which is the MAC-10 and snared, I love how it looks like. I love how the MAC-10 is made to be like a spirit trap with a little, you can see the little ghosts or spirits inside. And I really feel like this is an amazingly done skin. The Valve dev team that had picked these skins actually did an amazing job with this one. It really captures the vibe of the case. It really captures the, the nightmare side of the case. And I really think this should be one of the top MAC-10 picks uh, if you want to have like a bluish kind of loadout. Another skin that is actually quite controversial is the G3 SG-1 Dream Glade. I really don't understand what was the process behind this skin, because as you can see the main body of the gun has this actually glowing pattern that I think really looks amazing and it could have been used in other places on this skin, but then the rest of the skin it's this cartoony representation of what I think is like a forest with ghosts and eyes looking at you. I wouldn't personally pick it as my main uh, G3 SG-1 skin, because uh, I feel like there are other better options out there, but uh, if this skin gets relatively cheap, I think this could be a nice pickup if someone wants to do a themed green with this hollow type inventory. We now have another top skin off of this case, and it is the PP Bison Space Cat, uh, and I absolutely love this one. It's a really cool concept uh, where they use the cat's eyes uh, um, together with the holes on the PP Bison, so it looks really well done. The purple that has been chosen really contrasts the black really, really well, and I'm a big fan of this skin. This is like, I think, top two PP Bison skins that you should definitely buy. Really, really well done and a really good pick for this uh, case. We then have the XM Zombie Offensive, and I have to say, this is quite a cute skin because it takes the CSGO characters, the various agents, it transforms them in zombies, and then it plasters them around the gun, which honestly looks really, really cool. I like how this has been executed, and uh, I really think this fits uh, the actual case. Now, this next skin is another favorite of mine, is the USPS Ticket to Hell. It's quite a controversial skin because uh, some people will say, well, it's just a black skin with writing slapped on top. And on one point I agree, but on the other side, I really think this is a really nice design. Now, do I think it captures and it fits in the Dreams and Nightmares case? No, absolutely no. I think this should have been put in another case, maybe a case that wasn't themed, okay? But I think it's a nice addition to the USPS's game. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a cheap skin and you can probably do a lot of crafts with it. It fits a print stream loadout with an AK slate and uh, maybe an op graphite. That's, that's the kind of loadout I see the skin with. Next up we have the M4A1S Night Terror, it's a really nice skin and I think this goes really well with the AK Orbit NK1. And this is a skin that goes well with the theme of the case, you can see the terror and like the nightmare side of this skin. And a detail that you probably do not know is that this skin, the more battle scarred it gets, the more purple and dark it gets, which is amazing in my opinion. You can see here a factory new version of the gun, and again here there's the battle scarred version of the gun, as you can see it's quite more purple. And I also love how different styles and techniques have been used to make this gun, with the artwork, with the lady screaming, but also on the other side the normal mapping that's been used to craft the backside. My final prediction for this skin is that the battle scarred version is gonna be as expensive as the factory new version. Moving on to the higher tier of skins, we have the Dual Beretta's Melon Drama. I like the name because there's two melons on the guns, but this is quite the haunting dualies. They're not bad for pistols and honestly I like the colors, I love the design and I wish to see it integrated in more skins in the future. And it kind of also reminds me of Rick and Morty, I quite like that style and I really think this really fits it. Now for the most terrifying skin of this case, we have the Famas Rapid Eye Movement and just look at it, look at the eyes, uh, how they're like looking around, uh, it's absolutely terrifying, but it's a super well done skin using normal mapping. And for those who don't know, the normal mapping is a technique where you make a texture look 3D, changing how the light hits it, and also this is a little easter egg on the front of the Famas, you can see that there's a little eye looking at you, where usually, you know, it's just painted still. I think this uh, is the type of skin that I like to pick because of the details that have been put 
on this gun. We then have the MP7 Abyssal Apparition. I really think this has a really nice 3D effect and it's one of the top three MP7 skins that have ever existed. I think it could really go well with a print stream loadout and the 3D effect goes along the whole gun. The artwork itself is amazing and I really like uh, the overall job on this skin. Moving now on to the reds, we have the MP9 Starlight Protector. And controversially, I'm gonna say that this is the best red out of this case. I love the overall design of the skin, the colors are popping and in general I like the cleanliness. Maybe it's not a lot inspired by this case theme, but I have to say the execution and the colors and the details that have been put into the gun are absolutely amazing. Again, a top MP9 if you want a really clean loadout. Now why did I say that the MP9 is actually the top red out of this case? Well, it's because the other red is the AK Nightwish. And I quite don't know what's going on with this skin. The skin itself looks really cool and I really think it has really vibrant colors that are shifting. The idea behind the skin is amazing. I wouldn't have picked it for a red, unfortunately. You cannot really use it with any stickers because it's a beautiful artwork and also it's not something that I personally would use in game because I think it would be a really distracting skin. Now, is it a cool thing? Yes, it is. Is it the top red skin that you can buy from an AK right now? I don't think so. Now it's time for me to give a judgment and a mark to this case, and I think this is a really hit and miss case. It has a lot of okay skins, there's a couple of good skins, but mostly the skins are like, ah. Some of them don't even respect the theme itself uh, of nightmares and dreams. So this is gonna be a 5 out of 10 for me, unfortunately. And I really think this is a common sentiment along the CSGO community, judging by the steady declining price of the case. This is also helped by the fact that there are no new knives or no new knives finishes, because yeah, the knives that you can get from this case are actually the Riptide knives that you can get from the previous case, which is actually cheaper. So guys, this is it. Let me know what you think about this case in the comments down below. Let me think what you think about the video, if I can do anything else, uh, anything better with the editing or with my voiceover. And please do stay tuned in the channel because I know I've been absent for quite a lot in the past few months, but I'll try and get content up and running again. And uh, yeah, I hope you have a nice day, good luck and have fun.